Hello and welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host Aurora and I'm very happy to be spending some time with you today. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're in a good place. And if you're not in a good place, I hope I can give you, yeah, hope and make you feel better about yourself and the situation you might be in. Today's topic is your inner critic and outer critics. I feel that when we choose to get rid of our bad behaviors, like patterns, habits that are not serving us anymore, when we choose to walk on a new path, a path that maybe no one ever walked on in our family, then we will not be left alone or, how do you say, spared, being tested. I posted an episode about that recently and I felt it's really important to talk about it again that sometimes the challenges will come from the inside, from your monkey mind, from your head. It is your inner critic that will jump in and question what you're doing. Is that really what you want to do? Is this where you see us going? Are you sure you want to be walking on that new path? You're not worth it. You don't deserve to be free and happy. You need to struggle and work hard. So sometimes we expect the test to come from the outside. But what I learned painfully is that the monkey mind, the inner critic, will be your biggest challenge. And on the one side, sorry, on the one side, it's um, a good thing because you can learn to be in control of that monkey mind and put it in a corner, turn the volume down. But on the other side, it's also very, very tough because it's deeply ingrained thoughts, things that we sometimes copy and paste it from our parents, to not say inherited from our ancestors. See, when you look at my grandma, for instance, she went through war in Europe, and so she was conceived during war and was born into war and then grew up after the war was done. But the stress that her mom had to go through during her pregnancy and during the young years of my grandma deeply affected my grandma too. So all this to say is your parents probably went through some stuff at some point in their lives and that deeply influenced their behavior now or even their DNA and that will influence you which doesn't mean that this is a stamp a tattoo that you will never get rid of but you have to get aware of it first and you have to see that certain behaviors certain thought patterns are not serving you anymore and to then go out there and question it and let go of those thought patterns and replace them with positive thought patterns is a very tough job to do. But I tell you what, it's so worth it and you might feel you're distancing yourself from your family, you might be losing contact for a while because you need a little bit of more distance because you realize Certain behaviors were truly abusive and way too aggressive and you don't want to continue um, that chain of behavior, let's, do, let's say. But there will come a point where you can forgive and forget and where your family can see that 
you're doing well and you are on a new path and you are creating or getting ready for the evolution of the human species, right? So if we were all to copy our parents' behavior, if they were to copy their parents' behavior, like one-on-one, -on -one, never question anything, there wouldn't be any evolution possible. We have to learn and adapt. We have to get rid of things that were given to us that are not serving us or humanity and be okay and know that our parents are still heroes. They're still awesome. We don't have to blame and shame them. But what I want to say here today is that your inner critic, the way you feel about yourself, was shaped and molded in very young years. The way your dad treated you highly influenced your confidence, your self-esteem. The way your mom treated you highly influences how you treat other people and, again, how you feel about yourself. And our parents are no saints. They are wonderful people who gave their all, their everything, to raise us with everything we needed. But remember, you were not born with a manual. You were not born with a little piece of paper where it says, uh, Justin will be awesome at playing the piano and is awesome at learning English and um, will be a highly intuitive person and a good doctor one day. They don't know those things, so sometimes you're being influenced in a different direction first, a direction that your family sees is best for you, but then you realize quickly, hmm, this is not what I wanted to do here, this is not what I came here for, and I want to break loose and find my purpose and be on my path, and that's a scary path to be on, but truly the only one that is healthy and good for you, and yeah, you might have to have a couple conversations with your family, the people that are close to you, but you have to follow your purpose. You have to follow your inner voice. So your inner critic is going to question you, make you question, make you doubt what you're doing there. It's going to, depending on how confident you are with yourself, pull you back in a very low self-esteem and make you ask yourself, yeah, why do I think people need what I got to offer? Why do I think people will listen to what I say? And when you hear that little voice, I'm hoping with this episode here to remember my voice and to remember that it is perfectly normal that this voice will come up. It will question you, it will doubt you, it will bring you down, it will maybe haunt you in your dreams. But you have to turn the volume down of that little voice and you have to keep walking that walk and know that if your intentions are good, if you're here to serve people, if you're here to express your soul, to express yourself, then... This path will always be the right one for you. And that little voice will throw tantrums and get loud and very destructive. But you have to feel and know that you're just being tested and you may continue on your beautiful new path that you are on. This episode, maybe you heard it in my voice, is very, very dear to my heart because it took me a long time to put that inner critic into the corner and to smile at it and just know that this is a little part of myself that I don't want to give too much importance. And I'm hoping so much that in listening to this episode here, you will identify this little voice quickly. And you will be able to take shortcuts or, yeah, take less time to 
totally blossom and unfold your potential. I'm sending my love out to you. I hope you're doing well. And I will be out there very soon again. Thank you so much for listening to the Borealis Experience. Please share or review my podcast here. It will mean the world to me. And yeah, you can always connect with me on Facebook. I'm glad to answer questions or receive requests from you. Until next time, bye-bye, Aurora.